So Mr. Girl, who is probably very controversial, probably, maybe, I don't know, maybe, got into a bit of a feud with BX Bullet. Well, actually, BX Bullet started it. So Mr. Girl put up a tweet. Have you ever thought maybe you were a pedophile? Question mark. Have you ever spent all day thinking about it? You are not alone. Come listen to my POCD interview on Twitch starting now. So Big's Bullet, uh, I guess, got wind of this and said, Today I woke up and turned on my computer to see pedophilia awareness streams on Twitch with 1,100 viewers. Meanwhile, Twitch isn't even doing the bare minimum to keep kids safe from online predators on their platform. Retweet and hold Twitch accountable. Now, what does this specifically stand for? POCD. Basically, my understanding is this is like, uh, somebody who is afraid that they might be a pedophile. It's like me- it's a medical term. It's somebody who's afraid that they might be a pedophile and is worried about like thoughts. It, it doesn't really make much sense to me, but apparently it's a real thing, and it's uh, it's it's not some phrase he made up. That's that that's the important part. It's a type of OCD where you're afraid you're a pedo, not actually a pedo. So BX Bullet, who by the way, this is the same person that had uh, somebody legitimately attacking her on Twitch. Um, she had an incident where she was streaming one day and her uh, her uh, toddler, I believe, ran into the room uh, naked or something on stream um, and she quickly, you know, turned it off and stuff like that. But some creep had saved it and was like using it as like blackmail against her. I covered it on my channel. I did a segment about it, right? Even though I don't like the Explorer, I think she's as dumb as a stump. I think she's fucking stupid. Um, but obviously I sympathize her uh, with her on that issue and, you know, as somebody who is generally, you know, against people who uh, are pedophiles, you know, I was, obviously I covered the story favorably in her, uh, you know, for her because, you know, I, I thought it was, it, the, it, the, the thing that was wild about it to me was, I mean, we all hear about crazy stuff that happens on Twitch all the fucking time. Usually it gets addressed, but for some reason Twitch was refusing for years to do nothing about this guy. And I was like, okay, what is going on here? You know, we know Twitch enforcement and, and moderation is inconsistent, but this is like a whole other level of, of just cancer, right? So instead of focusing on that, now she's just trying to go after Mr. Girl, who regardless of what you think of him, should absolutely have a platform. I don't even think that's controversial, right? Well, you'll remember. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hold on. Can I find the tweet where she, um, uh, I got to find the tweet. Otherwise, it's not going to make any sense. What a coincidence. I laugh at you too. Every time I see your name and your stream and title and I realize I live in your head. Meanwhile, I'm here in my giant house crying and wiping my tears with the boxers of the dudes you wish you could fuck. Sucks to suck, I guess. So Mr. Girl responds to this call-out post. Meanwhile, I'm here in my giant house crying and wiping my tears with the undies of the kids you wish you could fuck. <laughs> oh my god. How did she take this? I'm sorry you were fucked up enough in the head to view child sexual assault as a joke, and I sincerely hope you get the help you need. Mr. Girl then responds, I'm sorry you were fucked up enough in the head to view a joke as child sexual assault, and I sincerely hope you get the help you need. (laughs) This logic makes no sense because I never accuse you of assaulting a child. I just don't like your brand of humor, and I don't like your message, and I'm, I'm sure you're used to that. So keep saying your piece, and I'll keep saying mine. Welcome to the internet. You are arguing that my brand of humor will cause child sexual assault. If you're going to tell me to keep saying my piece, you should probably stop trying to deplatform me. She says, you think it's a joke. Uh, you think a joke is C- CSA, child sexual assault. It's not the same as the joke as what you said here. Where did I argue direct causation from joke? Where did I say you should be deplatformed? Have you seen any of my content? If so, you'd know my larger beef with Twitch has nothing to do with you. So here she's just fucking lying. I mean, she's just being completely retarded. Okay, her acting like she wasn't trying to get Mr. Girl deplatformed was ob- obviously that's what she's trying to do. Retweet and hold Twitch accountable. What does she want Twitch to do? Tickle his balls? What does she want him to? What does she want Twitch to do? Obviously, she's calling for a ban here. That's obvious what the implication is there. What else are they supposed to do? How else are they supposed to? You know, how else is is she supposed to hold Twitch accountable? Like, I don't understand what that logic there. And then she's like. Have you seen my content? If so, you know my larger beef with Twitch has nothing to do with you. She specifically called out Mr. Girl, right? So yes, it does have to do with him. That's who her call-out post was about. This is why I fucking hate BX Bullet. She's so fucking stupid, like to an insane degree. A few, like a month ago, she was in Boblax's chat, 
right? And she was saying stuff like, Augie said that I was abusive towards my kid because I was doing a teddy stream and uh, my kid came into the room or something. And I'm like, are you fucking stupid? I never said that. So I went to the chat and I was just like, you fucking suck. You're fucking stupid. You're just, you're a dumb bitch. I didn't say any of that shit. I go into the chat, I go nuclear her, right? So we end up getting into a call and immediately she bows down and apologizes and acknowledges that I actually never said that. In fact, other people were saying that and I said she wasn't abusive. I actually said the exact opposite, right? So it pissed me off that she's just randomly going to people's chats saying that I said awful shit about her. Uh, of course, as soon as I got wind of that, I had to fucking, you know, set her ass straight. And then when I do that and we get into a call, she's like, oh, my bad. My bad. Actually, you didn't say any of that. I'm like, okay, on one hand, at least you capitulated. But on the other hand, why the fuck did you say that in the first place? Okay, whatever. So BX Bull is fucking retarded. Um, of course, after this, Mr. Girl ended up getting banned from Twitch. And I reached out to him. I asked him, I was like, how long is the ban? He don't even know. He didn't even get an email. He said, I've been banned from Twitch. I haven't heard from them, but I assume it's because of the uh, POCD interview. So he's going to be basically streaming on YouTube and stuff like that, right? So BX Bullet says, I reached out to Max and apologized that my tweet was misinterpreted. It wasn't misinterpreted. What do you mean? The fact that Mr. Girl is ratioing you on Twitter and he's right is insane. I mean, that should speak volumes as to like, and it's not even just like people that, it's not like he's like the unpopular opinion, right? No, everybody is like, yeah, Mr. Girl's correct. You're fucking stupid. Shouldn't that like tell you something, right? Anyway. It genuinely was not meant to be a call to ban. It was a call to raise awareness on an otherwise unrelated matter. I don't believe this for a second. She then says, I also offered my support in filing an appeal if it turns out I played a role, which I doubt. I also swallowed my pride and offered to talk to him about it publicly on YouTube to smooth things over. My goal is never to deplatform. I'd much rather have content available for me to react to and give my take on my own stream. I have a visceral reaction to jokes about pedophilia and CP, and as a result of my own personal experiences dealing with this IRL, while I believe this kind of topic can be discussed responsibly, there's a fine line, and I believe joking is not the best approach. Okay, she's fucking lying, and I'll tell you why. Keemstar posted that popular clip that went viral. Where was the clip? It was basically a clip where her kid was, like, crying in the background or something while she was in the middle of doing, like, a titty stream or something like that, right? And people were, well, it wasn't really like a titty stream, but it was, I mean, she's obviously like, you know, dressed up. And so everybody was saying that this is child abuse, right? And I was like, no, it's not child abuse. It's just really cringe and maybe a little bit irresponsible, um, but it's not child abuse, right? But Keemstar reposted that video on his Twitter account and she was like threatening to like fucking sue Keemstar. So I don't believe that she's like, I'm never about going after people's right to speak. Yeah, you are. This is documented. What do you mean? You literally threatened to sue people on the internet. And maybe flag too, although I'm not entirely sure on that one. I try my best to be genuine despite people's nonstop attempts to mischaracterize everything I say, but I'm not above apologizing when I believe something I said may have been fairly, may have fairly been misinterpreted. Mr. Girl says, I reject your apology, but I will say that I think you genuinely don't understand my content and mean well. If your goal is to is to police speech and art, then carry on. But if your goal is to stop predators, talking about my movie reviews and rap songs just hurts your credibility. And then we got Dick Masterson. What a phenomenal if. <laughs> True. Yeah, I really... This person's just cringe. She was also pretty cringe too because around the time that that story was going out, uh, you know, when people were doing that to her um, and she was genuinely the victim... She was like going after people, basically being like, if they didn't cover her story, she was like, you're complicit in this because you're refusing to talk about it. And I'm like, fuck off, dude. That is just the, the most cringy shit you can possibly do. She just sucks so much. God. Have you seen this? Re Mr. Girl? What, she just posts this? Uh-oh. I slept on it and I woke up this morning with a fresh mind. Fuck Max Carson. Stay banned. Lyrics to... This isn't real. Are you fucking kidding me? Huh? What? <laughs> wow. Suddenly, 
I don't really feel bad for being like the most uncharitable to this person. Wow. <laughs> Lyrics to I'm a pedophile by Mr. Girl. <laughs> Guys, all right. He should get banned because he made a, a satirical song about it. You got damn right. I'm a literal pedophile. He just said he's a pedophile. Shit. Take him down, dude. Ban him. The thing is, and I'm consistent on this, I think Mr. Girl should have a platform. Um, and I'll pretty much always defend this unless he actually does something, right? But if you wanted to make the argument that Mr. Girl should be deplatformed, there's probably like 10,000 better arguments to make or better ways you can say it than just, Mr. Girl makes me feel uncomfortable, so therefore she should be banned. That's like such a shit argument. And this is just, she's just spurking at this point. She's like literally insane. <laughs> What a fucking nutcase. I still can't believe- This is not real, dude. You're trolling me. Oh, yeah, look at this. Hours after BX Bullet Suites, uh, I called a public action. Mr. Girl was banned. Following the ban, Bullet claims it is unreasonable to blame her and feels like she's being unfairly targeted. BX Bullet implies that Mr. Girl normalizes pedophilia and pedophilic behavior. She also believes this content desensitizes kids and enables child predators. Bullet also added later she doesn't want him to be banned. That doesn't make any sense, though, because if she believed that he normalizes pedophilia, that's a pretty good reason to want somebody to be banned, right? Like, you can't say, like, I think people that watch Mr. Girl are going to go out and rape kids. But also, I don't think he should be banned. Like, you can't have it both ways. That's just retarded. So you think people that encourage, like, child rape should be unbanned? That That's your take? Really? That doesn't make any sense. Obviously, you want him to be banned. You can't, like, you can't have it both ways on this one. BX Bullet also claims uh, p people who oppose her tweet are pedophile white knights. She also claims she won't stop speaking her mind because people are bullying her. Replies have since then been, <laughs> since then been disabled. I seem to have angered the pedophilia white knights off Twitter again, but I'm not sorry and I won't stop speaking in my mind because you bully me either. Wow, how brave. So brave. She's also single, singled out Stardust, specifically under her tweet calling out pedophile defenders, and says Star finds child rape funny. P.S. If kids getting raped is funny to you in any context, get off of Twitter and seek help. At St Stardust, disappointed to be honest. Wow. This is a sane individual. Uh, what is this? Oh, she's going at Tipster now? Uh-oh. Hold up. Tipster says, remember guys, she didn't advocate for Miss Girl being deplatformed. Lol. Oh no, I don't advocate for cancel culture and you know more than anyone that my platform is anti-Twitch. Fuck Max Carson, stay banned. I didn't, but now I don't care. Fuck that guy and fuck anyone who thinks this is funny and can't see that this edgy humor is a doorway to desensitizing people to the map agenda. So now she's just full on losing it. Making the same arguments people make for edgy speech and edgy jokes that at least, you know, real racism, right? Which I would assume she would be against that take considering that she's at... I, I don't know if she calls herself a conservative, but I mean, she's not, but probably center right leaning. I mean, at least she's probably conservative on speech, at least principally, I, I would think. So she's saying that the pedo pipeline exists. Honestly, here's the deal, though. The pedo pipeline argument makes almost no sense. But, like, the racist jokes lead to racist people argument, although, again, I disagree with it, right? Because I think people that grow up to be racist probably already had some some of it in them in the first place, right? Um, but, on you like, you can sort of make an argument about the edgy jokes lead to edgy opinions type thing. Like, I, again, I disagree with it, but you can sort of make that argument. But watching Mr. Girl makes you want to rape kids, this is just nonsensical. I, I, there's no logical train there. Saying his humor desensitizes people regarding pedophilia is like saying people who listen to Joe Rogan are going to fall down the alright pipeline or that the spicy pics you post are going to turn men into sexual degenerates. You are on some what about some Karen bullshit right now. Hard disagree. When it comes to desensitizing kids to sexual abuse, I, I've seen it personally and professionally many times. Maybe if you ever had to talk to a grieving parent whose kid was abducted by a pedo from online, you'd understand my perspective better. Or maybe if you've ever had to see a CP video of an infant baby, okay, getting arred by a man, then dying from internal injuries, you wouldn't find it funny either. If you had any awareness at all of how persuasive, 
of how pervasive and prolific this stuff is online. It's on a critical level. I didn't advocate for ban. I didn't report him. His ban is unrelated to me. But if you think this is okay, you need to do some research into how internet child grooming and abuse unfolds. It usually starts innocently like a joke. I have free speech too. Dude, is it a nuclear take to say that I fucking hate when people are trying to have like an argument and then instantly it's like, well, my personal experience is, is this. And therefore, because I've gone through this awful thing that's happened now, oh, you can't talk to me now because I'm better than you because I went through something traumatic. So therefore, is that a, am I like insane right now? I, I like tips are just trying to have an argument about speech and she's going into like her personal story. It's irrelevant. I don't give a fuck. Is that, is that a nuclear take? Is that, is that an insane take? Why is this relevant? Talk about the issue, all right? Because honestly, though I maybe am sympathetic to your fucking anecdotal story, if it's true, I don't give a fuck because we're having a conversation here. It's not a contest of why you should feel sorry for me. You know what I mean? Is that a nuclear take? Sometimes when I have a discussion with somebody, I don't want to hear about their fucking trauma uh, when, when I'm trying to like talk about issues that are non-related to your personal experience. I just want to talk about it generally. Oh, well, if you had gone through what I've gone through, then you would understand. No. I haven't gone through what you've gone through, I'll admit, but I still understand the issue and I still think that this is a retarded conversation. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's trauma dumping. It's just, she's just using it to try to win an argument, which is kind of embarrassing, to be honest. Like, we can have a separate conversation about the awful shit you've gone through and why it's bad, but if we're having a discussion about what, like whether pedophilic, you know, quote-unquote pro-pedophilic content leads to pedophiles, you know, people becoming pedophiles, let's just stick to the facts, in our opinions, why are you trying to bring personal experiences into this as if it even helps your argument? So what if you got some anecdotal story that you think supports your case? Who cares? Maybe I have an anecdotal story that says the opposite. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Click Nick's link. She lied so hard. This logic makes no sense because I never accuse you of assaulting a child. I just don't like your brand of humor and I don't like your message. I'm sure you're used to that. So keep saying your piece. So keep saying your piece and I'll keep saying mine. Welcome to the internet. I'm sorry, Biggs Bullet. You literally came into my DMs trying to convince me uh, D-Guy was a pedo. Then you tell Tipster, Nick, and Stardust all you wanted was awareness. You de you deceiving, lying piece of shit. I never, ever share DMs, but D-Guy lost his income. You mean this guy who's an open pedophile links the song? She's so stupid, dude. So she thinks that this guy is an actual pedophile, but she actually wasn't trying to deplatform a pedophile, even though she's previously she's previously said that she is pro banning pedophiles. But actually, she doesn't think he's a pedophile. She doesn't think that he harms children in real life, even though in DMs she's trying to convince people that he does. This is all over the place. It doesn't make any fucking sense. I reject your apology. I slept in it and I woke up this morning with a fresh mind. Fuck Max Carson's day band. Yeah because he didn't buy her bullshit, so she got frustrated. That is hilarious. Oh, she just wrote me on Twitter. Augie, respectfully, I have no issues with you. I think that one day when you are older than 20 and have kids of your own and more life experience, you'll change your mind. <laughs> Lol? This is like textbook example. If you ever get owned by a 20 year old on the internet, just say like, oh, well, you're young and dumb. Maybe one day you'll grow up and be smarter. How old is this woman? Debater? Should I? Should I like try and bait her on stream? Yeah, let's do it. I'm streaming right now. Call in. <laughs> let's see how stupid I am. Let's see how young and dumb I am. Yo. What's up, dude? All right. So uh, I'm here, unexperienced twenty-year-old here. <laughs> No offense, dude. You know, like I'm older than people think I am. And how old are uh, you? People like to meme that I like, oh, yeah, she's a private investigator. But like, no, like legit, like I am. Like, and I've seen a lot of fucked up shit. So I right. take things a little bit more seriously, I guess, and see things in a little different way. But the bottom line is that I didn't brigade him. I didn't ask anyone to ban him. I didn't report his what, content. What did you want to happen, though? 
um, raise awareness that this was happening and I was going to, to react do to it on my stream. I was going to react to it on my stream because if his voice is going to be loud, my voice is going to be loud too, right? So, <laughs> you know your tweet is you, literally like, written like it's like a direct call I understand, for action. You and, understand that, right? Like nobody like is listening yeah, yeah. to this so, and thinking that if you were just trying so, to do a stream, yeah. you'd just be like, uh, recovering Mr. Girl's insane stream that he did the other day with a POCD. This is insane shit. Yeah. We need to talk about why this so, is fucked up. That's what you would do if you were trying yeah. to like promote a stream. But like your tweet is written like at you tag Twitch directly and you were like, we need to call we need a call for action. We need to like do something about this. Well, what do we need to do? Yeah. Okay. Talk about so, it. So yes. And um that's all good points. And I admitted to that and I actually tried to clarify and tried to apologize, actually privately reached out and was like, that was not like an intent of mine. Although I can almost guarantee you that I had nothing to do with his ban because that's not how Twitch bans work. They do not just like see me on Twitter and fucking ban somebody. They, they take, they, you have to have a user report. And my tweet was made after his stream was over. You, so, you don't think people that saw that tweet went and reported his account? Because of what you said, I think said. there were a lot of people already angry and quote tweeting it. But you don't think your tweet contributed to any of it? I have no idea, but neither do you, and so I don't really think that it's well, fair. When you're to literally just making a call for blame. action, and then he gets banned the next the day, call, the logical conclusion on, is is okay. when you're raising awareness, people are going to do something about it, right? Okay, people aren't just going right. to see that and be like, "Okay, yeah, this guy sucks." No, they're going to want to do something because you're you're Keep calling cool. the masses. You're saying, Keep "Let's cool. do right. something." And like, I understand that you're unfamiliar and a lot of people are unfamiliar with um, my content and what like my Twitter is about because I have been on a crusade to uh, take offending pedophiles and predators off of Twitch, of which there are many. And um, it's always a call to action on Twitch because the movement is trying to make hold Twitch accountable for keeping kids safe on the platform, right? So if you're going to have conversations like the conversations that I've been seeing around pedophilia, you need to do so responsibly. And part of doing it responsibly is number one, not joking about it. Jokes are not the right way to go about it. And number two, uh, making sure that Why? it's a safe place for kids when you're doing it, right? Like not doing it on a platform full of child groomers. Why are we so policing jokes and acting like jokes like have a direct correlation to like real harm? Are, I mean, I, I would just, all I would say to you there is that I would hope you'd be consistent about other types of jokes that are not oh, yeah. acceptable I'm, on the I'm platform. consistent about racist okay. jokes, okay. sexist jokes, anti-Semitic jokes, tra uh, trans jokes, gay jokes, and pedo jokes. I'm consistent about all of this. And, and so the problem with like making a, pe a pedo joke is a little bit different than like if you just make a joke casually, that's different than devoting a platform to minimizing child sexual abuse and making it seem like, ah, oh, it's just a joke, it's not that bad. Because if you know anything about actual child grooming, child grooming starts with the predators desensitizing kids to the idea of abuse. And one way they do that is by joking, making it seem like it's common. It's something everybody does. It's not a big deal. Yeah, but you're uh, talking about like literal like grooming tactics and comparing that to somebody making a joke on the internet and acting like these are two of the same things. Um, like you understand yeah, there's a difference. Like, like, like it, groomers I, I do use, I guess groomers can use comedy, right? to yeah, sort okay. of manipulate children, but that's completely different to I, Mr. I, Girl well, making I a joke on the Twitter. I think the point is that Who is we can have this conversation. I don't have a lot of time, but what I'm going to say is that I didn't advocate for deplatforming him anyways. Like that was, mis I, I understand why that was- Well, now you are. You literally just said, fuck him. He deserves to get banned. Like, no, now I you said, are. fuck him. No, no, no. I said, fuck him. I'm glad he's banned. <laughs> but but you're advocating, you're, you're, you're dancing on his fucking grave. Fuck. You're, why? So what, what do you mean? You claim to be against this. Now you're just celebrating it. What are, you, what are you talking about? I mean, I think that if Twitch is going to be consistent with bans and they're going to ban people for like the dumbest fucking shit, you know, I don't know what he did to get banned. You don't either. Like he would have had to hmm. actually explicitly broken TOS. What he did? It's not just like, no, listen what to happened? me. No, hold on. Be quiet. It's not, that's no, not how Twitch quiet. bans. Hold don't on. tell me to be quiet. Okay, then I'll leave. Oh, that's really? not how Twitch bans work, dude. Twitch bans don't work like, oh, there's an outrage. Like, they have to actually find a, a breaking of TOS or community guidelines to ban. 
They have to have it. They cannot just say, oh, you pissed somebody off. So they have to say like targeted harassment, which is like the L plus ratio thing or something like that, right? So th- that means that a Twitch true, staff member- though. I mean, Deller true. got banned for smashing a keyboard, a plastic a, like keyboard over his head. And they said that that was like, what, self-harm or something? Even though he's done this okay. a million times well, before. Yeah, I mean, that's an even, example. Even what so, TOS, he's uh, going to bring? get- even so, Max is going to get an email, or he should get an email, saying why he was banned. He should have already gotten it. Well, according to him, he didn't. Well, that's kind of sus, because it's yeah. just policy to send it. Yeah. A little sus. A lot of this is kind right. of sus. A little I mean, sus. I'm, I'm right. operating <laughs> under the... I'm operating under the idea that you weren't trying to get them banned in the first place. But I mean, honestly, I don't even I don't, fucking I wasn't, believe that. But it, you know, I, that's fine. But I wasn't. And I apologize if it was taken that way. That's all I can do. Uh, you know, I you don't understand think like okay apologizing after the fact is fucking like you're saying you're make a tweet that. Oh, yeah. Everybody is apologize before the fact. Like most. Well, no, you just do. don't do it. You just don't. If, you're, if you really are a free speech person, you don't make tweets that are literally written as call up posts as like as any other tweet that's written when you're trying to ban somebody. You just don't fucking do that shit. And you're smart enough to realize, oh, if I don't want my tweet to be misinterpreted as calling for a ban, maybe I should reword it. You, you came into the stream saying that the purpose of your tweet was just to raise awareness uh, to, to, to cover it for content and cover it on a live stream. But you tag you Twitch. You, you literally are like, Twitch needs to be held responsible. They do. They need to be held responsible. So for what are they doing by platforming Mr. They're Girl? They're literally like, what, what not danger banning are they doing? actual pedophiles on the platform. It's is just, Mr. Girl an actual a, pedophile? No, no, no. Okay, listen. The ad Twitch is just an artifact of like something that I've been doing on pretty much all of my posts have that exact <laughs> same text copy and pasted. That's why. Okay, and so I didn't think wait a minute. Right. Hold on. That doesn't make any sense, right? Because does, you're saying no, 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 no. Your whole platform is raising awareness about actual pedophiles. But now you're saying that this tweet wasn't about banning an actual pedophile, assuming that you don't think Mr. Girl is a pedophile, even though there's DMs where you're saying that he actually is, and you just said that he is in your most recent tweet longer. No, I apologize if I was misinterpreted. I don't give a fuck about that, dude. Rape jokes about raping kids aren't fucking okay. Okay, and I'm not going to pretend like they are. Fuck that guy, and I'm not okay. fucking sorry. That Do you think can. he's a pedophile? And that's it. Bye. Do you think he's a pedophile? She ran. She fucking ran. She wouldn't answer the question. She doesn't. She can't answer the fucking question. Let me write her again. Do you think he's a pedophile? What an insane fucking conversation. She just wrote me back and said no clue. Jesus Christ, man. So that was a debate from the unexperienced uh, 20 year old and she ran. Well, that's insane. What is she tweeting on Twitter now? I told him for the start I had two minutes. I'm busy going on my life. How is she? Wait, hold on now. How are you busy? You're literally tweeting right now. Doesn't make any sense. What, busy to go back on Twitter to cope about everybody ratioing her? Like, is that what she's busy with? Isn't this shit literally her job? Like, what is she busy? What is she doing?